Imagine a street, and chances are it looks something like this. Or this. Or this. But that wasn't always the case. Over recent decades, how we've planned and designed our streets and highways have meant it's easier and safer to travel than ever before. We sat down with people in the industry to share their thoughts and stories on how far we've come and what the future holds. What became clear is this is a story not just of good street design, but a story of how we create the cities and communities we need. Cities are fundamentally about people. And where people go and where people meet are at the core of what makes a city work. Being able to safely use the transport network, it affects my family, it affects um, our communities. Road safety is really about safe communities. Everyone getting home safe at night, getting home to your family, friends. It means being able to enjoy quality time with my friends and family and that they can spend quality time with their friends and family. Um, it's not about the cars, it's not about the cyclists. It's really about how people use it. It's around making sure that the environment gives everyone sort of equal access in a way that means that it's safe for them. Communities remind us that their health and well-being is shaped by our streets and public spaces, which far too often cause rather than prevent harm. I had a good friend in, in university for various reasons was involved in was involved in a cycle crash and, and, and he was killed. That was a tough time. Uh, my brother was heading from his work as he was walking down the road. A car came through an intersection and that was a really serious accident. He was in critical care for a, over a month. He was travelling on the Wakamaru Tokoroa um, highway when a truck was coming the other way. This truck had a pothole and the tailgate that was in the truck laying loose on the, in the bed of a truck flipped out and took the top of our car. And so from the age of four, I've lived without having a father. The media headlines and the ever increasing you know, crashes out there on the road and you see these things come up. And you know, for me, it's, it's really having a, a meaningful impact. I look back through my life and, and now through my son's eyes and actually we're still getting the same problems. We really need a, a change in the way we, we deal with, with road safety. A substantial part of, of my career has been a section of State Highway 2 just north of Tauranga and have seen significant improvement in the number of people that are being involved in crashes along that network. The speeds are aligned with the infrastructure and the level of infrastructure that we have on the road. Through Safe System we are looking to close that gap. We're trying to present solutions to the problems. We might not be empowered to make a difference in it, so through my work can play a small part. Having a system where my friends, my family can go out and about and use the transport system. So it's always about bringing it down to the um, most vulnerable person and developing our own approach around that. These issues remind us that there's an ongoing conversation to be had and that we all, to some extent, have a role to play. People may not have appreciation for how much they can impact the, the road safety discussion. They do have a say in what happens. One thing's really clear is if we don't actually get a social licence to, um, to do this stuff, it's not going to be successful. We connect uh, with our communities better, therefore be able for us as engineers to understand those problems and help um, address it. It is not a quick win and it is not something you can deliver by yourself. Being prepared to play the long game and work with a wide team of people I find very satisfying and rewarding. Taking people along on the journey, so we've been trying to communicate information so that they can assess and kind of judge on their own values and maybe their own experiences. Yes, we need to consider all road users equally in the work we do and I think if we consider all road users equally I think the decisions we make on road safety will, I guess, be, I think will be much improved. Amazing people that we have across the country, both in our client organisations as well as a lot of the consultancies and also contractors that are all working towards the same goal, so they're not in it alone. A lot's changed in our streets and public spaces, but what's next? Well, that becomes a question for all of us. Cities remind us that we're in this together and to create meaningful change, we'll all need to play a part. And if we look back, it's also clear that change is possible if we're willing to continue the dialogue and are willing to commit to it. <laughs>